Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I got home today to a package on my doorstep from Tackle Warehouse, which according to my wife happens quite a bit. Uh, I would argue with that, but in any case, I was excited to get that package because one of the baits in it is a bait that I've been looking forward to trying, and that is the Berkley Power Bait Power Stinger. Guys, this is meant to be a uh, vibrating jig trailer is what they made it for, but the cool thing about it is they've incorporated that honeycomb design in the back that is supposed to give this more movement than traditional uh, vibrating jig trailers. You know, it's got the same design that you'd get on the Berkeley Gilly. And as we know with that, you get one of the most natural swimming motions because of that design. So to see them incorporated into a vibrating jig trailer has me pretty excited. So, you know, my standard trailer has been the Yamamoto Zeiko when we're talking about any sort of vibrating jig. But I will tell you one issue I have with trailers with vibrating jigs is they don't have much motion, if any motion. And I'm kind of mixed on that because you guys know from this channel, I don't want a trailer that's got any form of a boot tail or kicking motion that's going to create drag for my bait. The last thing I want is to maintain a steady vibrating jig motion, meaning the best characteristic to a vibrating jig is the erratic darting motion that you get out of that lip. And when you have a vibrating jig that is just going crazy, darting off to the side here and there, if you have a trailer that has a boot tail or some sort of kicking motion that creates drag, it limits that darting motion side to side. And therefore, in my opinion, you create less reaction strikes. So to choose a trailer that has allows the bait to have a lot of motion, you generally have to have a straight tail trailer. Now the, the negative to that is when you use a bait like the Zeko, or if you put a fluke on it, something that doesn't have any kicking motion, you get basically just a, a trailer that's a, along for the ride. You're creating mass on your bait, almost to the point where I've questioned if you even need a trailer. Like, could you just throw the, the vibrating jig itself? You know, in this case, the slobber knocker that I've got tied on here really imparts enough action to the point where it's putting the action into the straight tailed trailer. So in this case, if you're throwing the Zeko, the Zeko is not imparting any action. So if you were just to put the Zeko on say a jig head, you're just gonna have a straight minnow that's coming in. You're not gonna have any motion. If you put that same, uh, if you put this power stinger on the same jig head, you'll get a little bit of motion similar to your Berkeley Gilly. It's a real natural swimming motion. So I took these down to the water to see if I in fact felt like I would get more swimming motion without limiting that side to side erratic action that I'm already getting with the slobber knocker. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that I do get significantly more tail motion out of the bait. And what I mean by tail motion is it's almost like the tail is just swimming versus just kind of coming along on the ride. I mean, it's hard to say, but I think you'll see clearly here in the video that you in fact do get a lot more tail kick, kick movement side to side with the power stinger. So I think the fact that it's got this, you know, this crazy honeycomb style back end when it's paired up with whatever vibrating jig you like to throw, you'll see that it actually does have quite a bit more kicking motion. And that kicking motion is going to create uh, water disturbance and vibration in the, in the water, which allows fish to track it better. Versus just when you have a typical vibrating jig trailer that is just following the bait is, is how I would describe it. I mean, so much so to the point that it just isn't doing anything, you know, other than creating that mass and that profile look. In this case, you're clearly getting more of that vibration tail kick motion out of it. Uh, the other thing I'm going to state with the power stinger that I really liked, well, there's two things. One, it's a much tougher material. So this bait is going to hold up way better 
than say the Zayco. And again, I'm not saying the Zayco is not a good trailer. I think the Zayco has been in, uh, very, very proven to this point to be a phenomenal trailer for your vibrating jigs. But having said that, it's a very soft material. So, it, you know, if you guys could feel the difference, you'll just know that the Power Stringer will hold up better to the abuse that you impart on this bait because vibrating jigs are put through the ringer when you talk about ripping it through grass and just really beating it up. So I have no doubt that this bait will hold up better than the Zayco because the Zayco is so soft. Now, the other thing that I really liked about it is when I did put them on just the jig head to see the motion, the Power Stinger has some extreme gliding motion. I really do feel like this is a minnow bait just on a jig head will be a very good cold water bait as well as if you are a walleye fisherman, I think you'll see that this looks extremely realistic. But in the video I'll show here, you can see this bait is darting back and forth. And keep in mind, it's only in six inches of water where that video is filming. So you're seeing a lot of movement from side to side, a lot of gliding motion in only six inches of water. So that is something I'm gonna try. The bait was not meant to be fished on a jig head, but I actually think that there's gonna be some good potential to fish it on a jig head. So guys, if you are a big uh, vibrating jig fisherman, I think you should try the new Power Stinger by Berkeley. I mean, they've got some awesome colors too. Like I can't wait to throw this red one, which they call Ghost Craw, to throw that on like the, the Fire Craw color that is gonna be so good in the spring. Uh, they just got a really good trailer here that I think may actually be significantly more uh, multi-useful or, you know, it can be used in a lot of different techniques than just a, a vibrating jig trailer. But check it out, guys, if you haven't already. They are very neat. I'm excited to put them to use here, and I'm sure I'll have viewers at home that are like, well, you didn't go catch a fish with it because I always have that. The reality here is, guys, this water temp is down into about the 40 degree mark, and it's gotten really uh, chilly and there's not too many baits that will work and I can assure you that they're not in shallow water where I'd be throwing a vibrating jig right now. But having said that, I think you should go check it out. I'll put the link up for the baits uh, to Tackle Warehouse so you can check them out for yourself. And I think you'll be surprised that they are in fact pretty good and impart some pretty good action into your vibrating jig trailers. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow.